Hi, Charlie Rose here with Rosinity Woodworks, and today what we're going to look at is the installation that was done on this tool stand for this router and the casters that are on the bottom. And here's what I'm going to show you. We've crossed that threshold of where I think these are, I don't want to say unsafe necessarily, but I don't like, there's a little bit of slop in the casters as it is just because of the movement mechanism. And what we've done here is by putting this on such a small footprint, by putting the casters on the inside of the table legs as opposed to the outside, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, and you'll see that here in the link, I like them on the inside just because as I'm walking around it, I don't catch it on things. As I'm trying to move it in between other pieces of equipment, it doesn't catch on things. This would probably work. I just want to show you, but I'm going to consider putting this on the outside and we're going to go through that change real quickly. But if I see this here and you spin it around, it actually moves quite freely. I just don't like the fact that it just seems very, very simple just right here. If you get the wheels where they're turned, the casters are angled just right, it wants to move a little bit. Now I'm never going to be running things on this with the wheels all the way engaged so that it can move freely. So it would be locked on the floor. So maybe that's not necessarily the right thing, but I'm going to go ahead and put them on the outside just to give me that peace of mind because the last thing I want to have happen is for this to be in here and we're moving it and we catch it on a piece of scrap lumber or something we don't see on the floor or a cord and it catches and topples over. So I'm going to move the casters to the outside. I think that's going to make a big difference and make this a little bit safer. And again, a learning experience here too. This is the smallest stand that I've done with the casters. So when they get so small with the footprint, you can see just where the four contact points where the casters are on the ground, it's probably only a foot square. So it's not that big. So if we move it to the outside, it's at least probably about two feet by one feet. You're an idiot. Or one foot that direction. I think that'll be a better, more stable solution as far as being able to move it around the shop. Stay tuned. We'll see how we do that here. So now we're going to go ahead and take the router table off the stand, get the stand up here, make those adjustments, and we'll be good to go. You might ask why do I have to take the caster off because if I don't take the caster off you see here even with it all the way up as high as it will with the plate at the bottom it's hard to access these here too to be able to get to those so I want to make sure just to get that out of the way you can see here it's just hard to get them and I've done that before where I take them on and off and the one thing I don't like about these screws the wood screws here it's a Phillips drive so if you don't really get it square when you're getting it in there trying to take it out then you can strip those threads so i've had that happen before so what takes what should have been a five minute job just to take those off becomes a 10 minute job because now i got to grind it off i can't get it out or i've got to um, drill the screws out so taking that caster off is definitely worth it so make sure you take the time to do that as well Now, now that we've got everything disassembled in terms of the casters, we're going to go ahead and we're going to mount these to the outside.
see. I can't see. Whew, it gets so dusty in the shop. These things are handy. These little wipes that I have. I don't remember where I bought those. Let's see. I think these were an Amazon purchase. Flint's Wipe and Clean. You can see that. I use it all the time for my glasses because I'm getting old and I can't see anymore. So my glasses get dusty and fingerprints and that makes a big difference. Um, yeah, here's the box that I bought them in. So I still have some in my car that I use as well. So these are handy to have around the shop. Okay, so we finally got the wheels situated and moved to the outside. The casters moved to the outside. That increased our footprint that we had for this particular router table stand. And I like that in terms of stability. It doesn't seem to have as much teetering and rocking. But as with any wheel caster type of configuration, if one's turned one way, one's turned straight or something like that, it, it does have a tendency to move a little bit. Again, it's not meant for you to be utilizing this bench or this stand or anything that has casters on it while the legs are engaged and fully functional as far as movement. Lower it so that way you have a stable surface and you don't have to worry about anything slipping or shifting or moving. The big reason I wanted to move it to the outside is my fears as I was moving it throughout the shop that with that smaller wheel footprint, maybe I catch a piece of wood on the floor or a cord or anything like that. And the last thing I want is a piece of tool or equipment or something to topple over just because we didn't safely configure how the movement mechanism was gonna work. So check this out, real simple movement. I hope you like this. Remember that as it gets so small, moving it to the outside is probably the better option, even though that's not my preference because of the tripping hazard on the outside. But I do really like this build. I hope you like it too. Stay tuned, watch for future improvements that we have throughout the shop. Thank you so much. You guys have a great day. Thank you very much.